Hello everyone, welcome to Service Year Alliance's Surviving Your Service Year ser series. Today we are going to be discussing student loans. Now I know if you have already watched the Navigating and Applying for Public Benefits webinar series, a little bit of this may be repeat, but that's okay. I don't think you can hear some of these messages enough. So let's begin. You have options if you have student loans while you are in service. You can either pause your student loans or you can do a loan deferment. By not having to pay towards your student loans while you are doing your service year, you'll have additional funds to make ends meet. So this is a big personal decision, but in a simplified version, if you do deferment, you will not have interest. If you do forbearance, you will accrue interest. So let's go a little bit deeper in. Loan forbearance. Service year core members who have student loans may be eligible for loan forbearance during their service year. This is at the discretion of the lender. Student loan forbearance allows you to not make any payments on your student loans while you are serving. During this time, your student loans will still accrue interest. If you are an AmeriCorps member, you can make a forbearance request via your AmeriCorps portal homepage. If you choose to do multiple service years and you are eligible for forbearance, you can opt to apply annually for loan forbearance. Loan deferment. Based on income, you may also be eligible for loan deferment. By deferring your loans instead of applying for forbearance, you will delay both your payments and interest accrual. This is at the discretion of your lender and you should contact them to inquire about the deferment option. So there is some student loan support. There are the income driven repayment plans. Based on your income, you may opt to sign up for a payment plan based on your income. Service year core members living solely on the living allowance may be eligible for a low even $0 a month loan payment. This is particularly helpful if you would like to meet the 10 year 120 payment requirement of the public service loan forgiveness program. If you work in public service, you may be eligible to have your student loan debt canceled through the public service loan forgiveness program. While on this program, if you make 120 monthly payments over 10 years, and then any remaining loans after that are forgiven, Payments do not have to be consecutive. Loan forbearance months do not count, but loan deferment months do. There are special rules that allow borrowers who are AmeriCorps members or Peace Corps volunteers to use their Seagal Education Award or Peace Corps transition payment to make single lump sum payments that may count for up to 12, qualify 12 qualifying PSLF payments. The Amer Seagal, AmeriCorps Seagal Education Award. There is a great webinar that I will put a link in the resources section for you. It's on YouTube and the webinar goes through how to use your uh, Seagal Education Award and some of the tips and tricks on how to use it most effectively. And it goes through the tax burdens of this as well. So AmeriCorps members are often eligible for the education award upon successful completion of their service year. You're, you should contact your program to see if you qualify. You can use your education award for seven years following the end of your service year. The education award amount can change every year based on the amount of the Pell Grant. While private loans cannot be paid through your education award, you can still apply it to most federal loans. There are some exceptions though. Eligible loans, tuition, and educational costs at most universities can be paid with your award. All requests must be made after the completion of your service year. How to make the most of your education award. Some universities will match your education award or provide additional scholarship because of your service year. Please ask your university's financial aid office if you qualify. VISTA members may opt out of the education award and receive a post-service year cash stipend in place of the education award. 
VISTA members may also be eligible for up to 15% cancellation on certain types of loans. AmeriCorps VISTA members who choose to receive the Education Award are not eligible for this cancellation. You cannot switch from the cash stipend to Education Award, but you can change from the Education Award to the cash stipend as long as the change occurs before your 10 months of service. Remember when you use your Education Award, you must claim it on your taxes as income in the year that you use it. Because of this, you may wish to consult a financial professional about the best way and timing to use your Education Award. Remember, if you don't have to use it all at, you don't have to use it all at once. If you are going back to school, you can apply your Education Award to future tuition. You may only use a certain amount of your Education Award in one semester. To figure out how this impacts you specifically, contact your university. If your Education Award exceeds the cost of tuition you owe in one semester, you may be eligible for a reimbursement check through your institution's financial aid office. If you select the Education Award, you may be eligible to make an interest repayment request via your AmeriCorps portal homepage once you have successfully completed your service year. This repayment is paid through the Seagal Trust and payments are in addition to your Education Award amount and it is not deducted from your Education Award. You do not have to put your loans in forbearance to make this request. But if you did, then you can have the accrued interest paid for up to 100%. Like your Education Award, this payment is also taxable income in the year it was used. You must have successfully completed your service year for this option to be available to you. Like I said, this last bullet point on this resources page is the YouTube link to a recorded webinar on how to use your Education Award best practices. So I hope that this was helpful for you and I look forward to any questions that you may have. Um, otherwise, have a wonderful day.